New Orleans City Council President Helena Moreno says the city is done playing whack-a-mole with copper fees. Moreno this morning telling the Department of Public Works to come up with a brand new action plan to fix street lights stripped of their wiring. Maddie Kurth reports. Driving through New Orleans time and time again, when the sun goes down, miles of roadways covered in darkness. We keep doing this, the, th the same things over and over again and expecting different results, and that's just not a way to operate. New Orleans City Council President Helena Moreno looking for a different way to do things, tackling copper theft by asking the Department of Public Works to create a fresh master plan for city lighting with at least 100 lights out on our overpasses from theft. There hasn't been a master plan in place when it comes to our lighting since 2012. We are long overdue for a new master plan. Earlier this month, Moreno called on Louisiana State Police, writing this letter suggesting the governor's Troop NOLA officials could help. But that's what state police does best. They, they patrol interstates, right? So let's have them patrol our interstates and look out for thieves trying to get at our infrastructure. It's not just a New Orleans problem. Around the country, copper thieves strip away wires, leaving residents in the dark. Do we have to switch out, you know, materials so that there isn't copper in them? Do we switch out to solar? Do we switch out to aluminum? That's what DPW needs to figure out. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, where copper theft was at its worst in 2023, some streetlights are making that switch to aluminum. The hope is that the, the value of the wire being so much less, you know, would decrease the incentive for this theft. Lopin says aluminum wire has about a quarter of the value of copper. But the city could only install about five miles of wiring before the ground froze for winter. We're still in a little bit of wait and see to see how effective it is for um, theft or re-theft of those, that system. Back home, Moreno says something needs to give, and soon. She says it takes a tremendous amount of time and money to replace lights damaged by copper thieves. The current wait list to repair a broken street light, seven months. DOTD has to give approval to like close down part of the interstate to do these fixes. So that 20 week turnaround is unbelievable for just one light to repair. The new master plan will take some time to develop. The Department of Public Works will now see what solutions are out there and how much it would cost. Moreno says she expects a report by the end of the year.